What's going on guys, Bao here back with some 7 Guardians, so let's get into this, we're going to be checking out this game, uh, not too sure what to actually expect, but so far it does look pretty good, I am playing this on Android if you guys are wondering, and it is also going to be released on iOS, release dates are announced for June on Android, I'm not too sure about iOS, I think that's about the same as well, you can actually go pre-register on prelaunch.me, uh, links in the description if you guys want to go check it out, but uh, yeah, let's get into this. So far, we got uh, a knight in the cage. There we go. I guess those are the characters we're going to be starting off with. And there was a little beginning part, which I kind of um, wasn't recording when I started up the game and didn't know it was going to start up because I was downloading the update. But uh, yeah, we got some diamonds up at the top. We got gold. And yeah, we're in our first battle. So Midgard 1 of 1. So chapter 1 of 1, basically. And yeah, we have quite a few characters, honestly. We got the golem, we got the knight, uh, we got an archer, wizard, um, I think that's a rogue running in just now. And yeah, it, it fills up at the bottom, they're like coins basically, and depending on the character, you can call them in and have multiple of the character if you did not notice out a few of these same ones. But uh, those are all the characters that we currently have, there are seven of them, that's what they give us to start off with of course you're going to be able to start to level up and stuff like that there is the diamonds to actually claim all the rewards which probably some of them are going to be worth it but you can actually reroll if you see something we do have a four star character if you can see that we're actually working on that's the hero trial so they're basically giving you a free four star uh getting an air there i'm gonna probably have to reload this is a unreleased version so there are going to be a little bit of bugs but uh, when the game actually comes out you guys won't have to worry about any of that stuff and it did it again so let me go actually refresh the game and I'll be right back I guess because I don't think this is going to work and uh, yeah I'll be right back Alright, so we just had to refresh. It didn't take that long at all. Honestly, you just had to close the game, restart, and that was basically about it. But uh, I'm working with the unreleased version, so yeah, that's why it's probably doing that. When it actually releases in June sometime, check out pre-launch if you do want to know the actual date. Hasn't been announced as of yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be announced pretty soon. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys go check it out. I will be playing it when it's actually released. Um, I'm not too sure what uh, characters we have. Hopefully we get to actually check out our characters here in a second. I kind of just went right into it again. So the only thing we have are like the hero trials and stuff like that. They are sort of teaching you the basis of the game through it basically. Like the quests and stuff like that. Um, we do have the siege tower basically. You can see it in the back kind of it kind of is a little bit of off screen and then um the one for the enemy is going to be these big old troll basically so that's their base and or boss actually that we have to kill and ours is back here so if they actually reach this uh tower i don't know what it is i think it's just like a siege tower or something like that if they actually reach that and start destroying it you'll see your health at the top start going down. So that's the bar up at the top, if you guys were wondering. That's your HP bar. The other characters, if they die, you can just replace them with the coin that's coming in. Or the, I don't know what to call it, it's at the bottom, it's the little blue bar. And you're refilling that as you're playing, and that's how you summon your characters. Of course, I'm using auto, so it automatically does it for me. But uh, there is the different levels on the character. I currently have uh, no. I used the last experience on the knight. I, honestly, I don't know which character is going to be the most important. I mean, the troll or golem or whatever that we have on our team looks very promising. There are going to be packs. I'm pretty sure I could actually buy one right now. Uh, I actually don't want to try it, but uh, when the game actually releases, I probably will. And yeah, pretty good price. You do have the monthly pack. You have the premium pack. And the specials, if you're going to be buying multiple packs. Of course, the different packs do have different stuff in them. So make sure you look at what you're actually purchasing before you do. But uh, I might actually try the monthly one. 
or I don't know, I might try one of the packs and see what uh, other stuff they do have. The notices are in Japanese, of course, but I'm pretty sure they'll have the English version or the English text so you guys can understand them. We do have challenges, sort of like achievements, and they do give you rewards based on whatever they want to give you, basically. Um, we do have certain heroes, so if you actually look at the heroes, they actually have something on them. They have like Fire Wizard, Ice Wizard, um, Archer, they, all of them have different attributes, basically. They give you the first one, of course, because those are the ones you start off with, but you can start changing them out for different characters. So you can change the wizard to a fire one once you actually obtain that. And you complete that line of all fire characters and you get a prize. That's basically what it is. There's actually the fire archer. And that one was a... Actually, I don't think it was a no star, basically. So it was just a great character, which I would recommend not using. Because we're already using two star characters to start off with. But... Uh, the like fire one does go up to like one star two star i think there's higher there's like so far i've seen up to four because that's what we're going for in the trial pretty sure there's higher level characters in that because i haven't seen a summon or anything like that which i'm pretty sure they have so we'll be getting into that they do have missions challenges stuff like that as well so a ton of stuff to do so this is basically what you actually want to level up and try to make sure it survives because if, if this thing gets destroyed that's basically when you lose all the other characters are just there to push the other enemies back and try to destroy theirs here's the summoning so we do have a summoning the free one for two to three star character uh, i was hoping for a three star we actually get the fire wizard so there's a two star fire wizard that i can actually trade him out i don't know what uh character is going to be the best but i'm guessing during the other trials there might be better characters to actually use since you know like fire beats ice or i'm not too sure exactly what it is in this one but uh i'm pretty sure certain attributes are going to be better in certain situations so you're probably going to want to collect them all plus collecting them all does get you rewards so yeah i don't think you can actually sell them either they're just there but uh, you do have summoning and stuff like that i will try to play through the game and save up and stuff like that to actually get through the summoning so you guys can check that out but here are the characters we're just gonna continue using the same ones and get a little bit through the story and see what actually happens because I'm not too sure what actually happens so we do have a certain number that we can actually summon as you can see I don't know if you guys noticed that but uh there is the third one so that one actually costs three i don't know that one's waiting let's spawn that in and yeah you're just basically waiting to spawn in characters that's basically about it the diamond uh diamonds are actually used to get some more of the pots which is basically 100 percent probably not going to need that early on you're probably going to need it for like a boss or if you get uh, stuck because I'm pretty sure you're gonna hit a wall at some point and basically have to level uh, these stages are a little bit different than some of the other games to where you don't actually have to complete the full um, stars which I just recommend going through the first full chapter which is only it looks like five so I'll go through the first five and then you can actually go back and go from I don't know if this is easy, then normal, then hard, or if it's uh, normal, hard, then something else. But uh, you can go back and complete it three more times for three different rewards. And on some of them, they do give you diamonds. So there are ways to actually earn diamonds, so you don't have to actually purchase them. Like any other mobile game, but uh, purchasing them is going to be your best bet. I would recommend probably going for the monthly card, especially if you're going to be playing monthly. Or if you're planning on playing monthly then I would recommend that we do have the boots which are going to be used for arena and stuff like that and then we have the meat which is basically stamina used for the um missions and stuff like that the chapters I'm pretty sure that's all they're used for they might be used for some other stuff like the running one or the boots probably going to be used for a little bit of different stuff but uh yeah we have two different characters here I mean I, I kind of want to try the fire wizard just to try it out uh, I noticed the stats are a little bit better, but I don't know if 
like on a certain stage it's going to be a lot weaker since it is fire. I don't know if that plays a factor. I will definitely be getting into this game. So we'll see how it actually turns out. But uh, yeah, definitely go sign up and pre-register on pre-launch. Or go check out their website which will all be in the description. And so far, having fun leveling up our characters. We do have quite a few at the bottom. You can see all the characters. Currently there are 100 heroes. I'm pretty sure that number's gonna grow like crazy once the game comes out. Have different sets and stuff like that. Maybe base the sets off of uh, TV shows and stuff like that. We'll see how it all actually all turns out. But definitely recommend trying it out when it comes out next month. There are the prices of the diamonds if you guys were wondering. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments down below. And yeah, I'll be uploading more of this. Hopefully I have a couple more out before the actual release of the game. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you guys later.